When I was scouring the Collinsville lists on Limitless, I came across this deck. Piloted by Joshua Yell, this Blacephalon ADP deck finished in 10th place, proving that ADP is pretty much good with anything. I haven't made any changes to the list, so this is exactly as it appeared at the Collinsville uh, tournament in February. So it'll be interesting to see if it still holds up post-Rebel Clash. Uh, I will say that in my testing, the deck is very hit or miss. Uh, you'll notice there's basically no switch effects. There's no switch. You play two Floatstone. So if you start the Chunky Boy, Heatran, with four retreat costs like I did and nothing else, uh, you can't actually get this out of the active. So your opponent can basically just sit back and do nothing and set up. And this will just be stuck there unless you get your one Guzma. Because uh, you can't put two float stones on this thing. But as long as I don't start Heatran, uh, I can do pretty well. ADP can use Alter Creation turn one thanks to Double Dragon Energy. And that powers up Blacephalon GX with Mind Blown and B-String and Ultimate Ray. You can do a lot of damage a lot faster than you could in Standard. But uh, yeah, it all depends how I draw. Obviously, there were a lot of decks that did well at Collinsville, but, you know, between this and the first place Trevnoir, I don't really have any plans to do more lists based off the Collinsville tournament, just because I have so many decks I need to build before rotation, so I sort of had to uh, limit the amount of decks I was looking at. Uh, and this is a classic starting hand. I'm going to have to get rid of my B-strings. Uh, the funny thing about that is that I never use B-string with this deck. I just use Ultimate Ray. Uh, it will be unfortunate because they'll full metal wall. Uh, they got Zation, so this is, probably a, this is probably a standard heavy expanded list. Uh, but yeah, this will be the last uh, Collinsville deck that I play. I do have you know a few more videos I want to play or try. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to get rid of that B-string. I'm going to grab probably just another ADP. What you want to do is you want to fill up your bench and spread out the energy as much as possible. Um, I'll probably ditch the B-string because I don't know when they're actually going to take a knockout. Uh, I guess I'll get the Shaman. Yeah, because you don't want to just have you know four energy on a Blacephalon and then have it be an easy target. You want to put you know one, one, one. Okay, so I I can get the Altered Creation. Uh, I can get the Chaotic Smell. Um, I think yeah, I I'm not gonna need these. Keeping that fire energy is good for Welder next turn. Uh, Double Dragon. Yeah, because I want to do that, and Floatstone. So the Swell goes in there. The Floatstone, I mean, I may as well have gotten it, right? So Altered Creation, that's good. They're going to Full Metal Wall more than likely. That's totally fine. I Oh, but why? Why, why won't you just Full Metal Wall? They do know I can't really... Well, I guess I could. You're going to Pokemon Catcher. That's fine. Are you going to bring up the other ADP? What are you doing? I don't, I don't agree with that move. You should be digging for your saucers and your frying pans and stuff. They're just... What? Okay. Um, well, that's an unfortunate top deck. Uh, I think right here, I just float stone. I think I'll see what happens. I'll see what happens off the shaman. There's a comp search. There's a welder. So I can knock out the active, but what hap What do I do after I knock out the active? Um, so I will comp search the heat factory and Guzma. 
yeah, of course. I don't need the dudes. I, I take one more knockout and I just win. So how many times have you seen this? A comp search for a single fire energy. And this is going to be kind of funny because I don't have to get rid of anything else. I just have to mind blown these two energy. And that's a knockout. A perfect knockout. And I take four prizes. So this is why the deck finished in 10th place, is because you can do things like this, just turn two, knock out a tag team, and just get rid of two energy. Uh, and if they happen to knock this out, I just have a beast ring. So there's not a whole lot they can do. Uh, yeah, I, I literally just attach to the Shaman, uh, bench the Blacephalon, Beast Rain, Retreat, and then because Double Dragon Energy counts as two energy, Mind Blown is that much more powerful. You know, Double Dragon Energy, it provides every energy, and it provides two of that energy, as long as it's on a dragon. So one Double Dragon Energy is two Fire Energy when you're using it with Mind Blown. Well, that's annoying. You know, for that, I'm going to use Walder. I was going to be nice. I was just going to make this a quick uh, quick victory here, but you, you forced my hand. So there's the Bravi Blotty. Um, so yeah, that was a, what, turn three? You know, I alter creation turn one, mind blown for a knockout turn two, and then turn three just a quick win. That's it. That's how quick this game was. With the old heart, and then oh, that was crazy. Okay, uh, hey, and I got a cosmic eclipse back. I'll bet you I pull nothing there. And were they playing any expanded cards? That's just oh, just versus seeker. Uh, they were just playing versus seeker, that was the only expanded card, and yeah, they just ran into a tough matchup. Uh, they did play four frying pan. Well, that's that's rough. That's rough luck on their part. But yeah, if you're if you want to build something like this with just a Zacian V deck and expanded, uh, don't forget about Max Elixir, Metal Saucer, Max Elixir. You got a lot of options to get energy into play and just start swinging turn one. So don't forget about Max Elixir. It's not the easiest to find. It's actually in one of the theme decks, one of the really you know older theme decks. I don't can't remember which one. But if you want to build an expanded deck, Max Elixir. Max Elixir, Max Elixir, Max Elixir. Because I don't really know what I'm cutting out of the first game when I edit, uh, I'll just mention again, I'm only doing the two decks uh, from Collinsville, just the first place Treb Noir and this 10th place deck, uh, because I have a ton more decks that I want to build. Uh, this isn't great but you only have a two retreat cost so it would just be these two from collinsville and then uh, i think i have just what three or four more expanded decks to go depending how my testing works uh at the moment uh, i can guarantee that i'll play night march and probably trevenant break after that it's kind of up in the air um well this is horrible uh I'll definitely Shaman. Okay, so if I quick ball the Welder, that's not great, but I'll just still get ADP. Uh, I don't even have to alter creation next turn, but it would come in handy, uh, especially because Savali GX has 210. So mind blown. Yeah, so I definitely want to use alter creation this game. Uh, sure, you want to go on the bench? Go on the bench. And the deck plays one copy of Ultra Necrozma. It's mostly there uh, if your opponent is, you know, in the mirror match or something, I guess. It just provides a one prizer. And if it's late in the game and you need a single prize attacker, uh, after you've altered creation, this does 200 damage. Uh, and don't forget that Silent Lab and Alolan Muck and Garb, they all exist. Your opponent could be playing it, and then you just surprise them with this guy. Uh, okay, so this will be interesting i yeah 100 percent. i have to use altered creation this game the other option oh kidoki 
What should I do here? They're playing, yeah, they're just playing a Mew Box deck. Uh, watch one of my previous videos to see me try one. Uh, um, yeah, so let's see. I don't want to do that. I guess I just welder. Do I want to welder one or two? Because one bad thing about this deck is that it does not really do anything in the way of energy recovery. Because there's a heat trend. There's a. Okay, so I can ditch the. Okay, I ditched the Heatran and the Sycamore. Or do I ditch the Beast Ring and the Sycamore? Because if I ditch the Beast Ring, you know, I'm going to Sycamore next turn, you know, almost guaranteed. And the Heatran could come into play later in the game. You know, not likely, but it could. So yeah, so let's just, let's do that. I'll get the Float Stone. Uh, there it is. What's my energy? You got nine energy. Okay. So I will only need to... You know, do I just want to take the knockout? I can ultimate ray a bunch of energy into play. They probably can't respond. But they do have the mind blown. Um, this is tough. It, it's, it's a tough decision because they might be able to just surprise me. But if I knock out the type null, I, this is tough. I think, do I want to be reckless? Sure, let's be reckless. I played it safe the first game, let's be reckless in this game. One, two, three. Bet they weren't expecting that. And then I'll just put the energy there and there. So. This is why the deck can also be really good, is because Ultimate Ray, it doesn't matter what energy you want to put in play, just as long as it's basic energy, you can put it anywhere you want. So I can just mind blown, mind blown, and win. You know, I'm... Actually, maybe I'm regretting benching the second ADP, but uh, I don't think they can really do much here. You know, if they if they get Gengar Mimikyu and copy Gengar Mimikyu, that's fine. There's been a bursting burn. That's annoying. Um, I can Guzma and Hala. There's a welder. If I Guzma and Hala, I go and get Floatstone and Chaotic Swell and Double Dragon. Uh, that's not horrible. But I mean, what's the worst? You know, how bad is it? I think it's worse if I do that because I'd be left with no hand, right? So that would just be not great. This is pretty cool. Uh, I can put the swell down. I think I just attached the Blacephalon and just see if I can ultimate ray. Okay, that's fine. A little annoying, but whatever. So there's the swell. Um, just trying to figure out what to do from this point on. They've got lady. Uh, so yeah, this is... I've seen one expanded, two expanded cards. Oh, there's good old Bridget. You never see Bridget anymore. Uh, the bursting burn's annoying. I don't really want to do anything else. I guess I just keep trying to flip through uh, flip through the burn. Because I don't really want to sky return. Uh, the other option is I attach to the active, retreat off a double dragon and the fire energy. There's Jet Pierce, that's fine. Um, and I could retreat into the Ultra Necrozma. And let that get knocked out. Uh, what to do? Um, I could mind blown and get rid of six energy. That seems horrible. Uh, I think I just put the 
I don't even think I put the spell into play. I think I just ultimate ray and see what happens. There we go. Okay. So I definitely just want to attach one at this point. Uh, because I may need to beast ring the other two onto somebody else. Uh, I guess it should go there. Let's put it there. They they ain't got it like that, right? And there's Mash Elixir, like I talked about. It's a very good card. Uh, and even after thinning out their deck quite a bit, they still got it. Uh, that's fine. I could heat Bazooka. That seems like a horrible idea. There's Miraculous Duo. Okay, so that is... That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to have to get rid of six energy. Okay, so... I want the active to definitely be the one I knock out. There's a Versus Seeker. Uh, Guzma and Hala gets me a double dragon energy. That would be good. But I'd have to get rid of Stealthy Hood and Chaotic Swell. That's fine. So, yeah, I just ditch the Hood, Swell, get... Oh, yeah, I can get that, so that, that, and I don't think I want the Heat Factory. I need to hold on to as much energy as possible. So, uh, yeah, let's put the Double Dragon Energy there. Uh, I probably should have checked to see if there's another Blacephalon in the deck. But, you know, after this turn, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, I'm taking two, so actually, the Great Catcher, I think I should hold on to. Please be another Blacephalon. Okay, good. So I'll get the Blacephalon, I'll attach to it. Uh, or maybe not, or maybe yes. Okay, how, how many do I have to get rid of? One, two, three, four, five, six. And if I attach to it, it is one energy away because they're gonna get off Beast Ring. So I'm mind blown. I get one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm. I think I'm doing okay right now. They've already GX. They can't do anything too surprising at this point. There's Tag Call. I have Tag Call, Great Catcher, Double Dragon Energy, another Blacephalon. Uh, I'm missing a Fire Energy. I don't really know what I can Tag Call for. It's pretty much just for Guzma and Hala and ADP. So this hand's kind of not great. Um, yeah, things could uh, go downhill pretty quick here, but what is also possible, I mean, they have to knock out ADP for the win, so it, it would be in their best interest to hit the ADP, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to do that, because they're already Guzma and Hollow. maybe if they play Pokemon Catcher or something. But it would be in their best interest to hit the ADP and then just hope I don't have a return knockout, which I don't. Uh, because just knocking out this Blacephalon GX, and that doesn't really help them. They have to knock out ADP. Uh, because if they, if they whiff a knockout, they're kind of done. Uh, yeah, there's just a Guzma and Hala, so I can get a Stadium, a Special Energy, and a Tool. None of these things exist in the deck. So at this point, I think I just attach to the ADP. Um, I can't thin out my deck. So I have to hope I get that fire energy at some point. The alternative is, well, there isn't really an alternative. You know, this is where 
decisions early in the game affect late in the game. You know, I don't think alter creation would have made a huge difference. The only difference it would have made is I'd have an extra fire energy on the field, but that doesn't really matter, right? Okay, so I don't really have anything in my hand that helps me out right here. So I need to get quick ball or something. There's a Guzma, and that doesn't do it. Uh, I, I guess I could try and... Ah, jeez. Okay, so what do they got in here? They got they could mind blown. I get rid of energy. They could jet pierce. That would be bad. I don't have a way to limit their hand. So this is not great. Um, I guess I just hit into the Naginado and Guzzlord. Uh, say I'll. Guzma the Nag, right? No, I'll Great Catcher the Nag. So I get rid of that and that. And then I retreat. I attach there just in case they do some shenanigans. I, oh, they got it. Oh, that's unfair. And then, yeah, I just needed one of those energy and I just win. Oh, man. Well, that's a well played. Unfortunately, just a little short. Uh, alter creation, I really don't think it would have made a difference. Yeah, I just would have had an extra fire energy. Well, what attack did they have? Do they have Macardo or something? Do they have a snipe attack? Uh, oh, they might have, like, Tapu Lele's energy guard. Attaching that energy was stupid. Uh, okay, just this Pokemon, but I should not have attached that energy there. I was thinking, you know, what if they bump it or something? I would need it for next turn. Um, and, yeah, do they just, what do they got? If they, if they energy drive for the win, I don't think they have enough for an energy drive victory, but that'd be pretty funny. Uh... Do they not have it? You know, they have to have a Guzma or something. Guzma wins it. But they, they... Guzma doesn't win it? What's going on? You got a big old hand there. Do I have it? What, what, are you trolling me? What are you doing? You gave the well played. And a jet pier They don't got it, and that is a victory. I am not punished for my amazing gameplay. Bring that up. And that is game. Boom. All right. I'm the best player ever. There it is right there. Proof. You're going to see it on the screen. Victory. That's right. Okay. I'm the best. Uh, I want to see their deck list if it's possible. Oh, yeah. They got the Jolteon. Oh, that would have uh, that would just won them the game right there. I wonder if it was prized or something. Uh, the Marshadow. They got the Mimikyu. They got the Mach. So they had a. They got the. They had a ton of things in this deck that could have won them the game. They. Did they just prize horribly or something? Because this is. Yeah, it was a 23 energy. Wow. Misty's. Okay. But they had a ton of ways to beat me, and I guess they just couldn't draw into it? Oh wow, so I got really lucky. I really should have used Alter Creation. No one else was in the deck. But uh, yeah, you saw it there. I got in the, I got a win with ADP, Blacephalon. A uh, very interesting combination, but it just opens up the door. You know, ADP, you can put with so many things in Expanded. Just use Double Dragon Energy to get Altered Creation GX off turn one. And if you have something like AZ or Scoop Up Cyclone or just Despair Ray, you know, you can use Alter Creation, then just wipe ADP off the board, and then use something like a single prizer that hits really hard, and just go from there. You know, if you have some fun ADP ideas for Expanded, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow with possibly Night March, possibly Trevenant Break. Uh, it'll be a surprise to everyone. See you then.